the summer is gone and yet we are not saved. We need to hear the word of the Lord. Not only hear it, but we need to obey it. Mother Grace quoted to you the scripture. Study to show thyself approved. Come on, come on. A workman that needed not be ashamed. Rightly dividing the word of truth. Oh yeah, yeah. I want to talk today and encourage your heart. If you pray with me for a few moments. I'm not going to be very long today. Amen. Not going to be very long, but I'm going to be long enough. Uh, all right, Pam. All right, Pam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Today, I want to talk to you about having more than we can handle. Mm -hmm. Having more than we can handle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Having more than we can handle. I want to talk to you, take our text today from the book of Luke, chapter 12. Grace talk from the book of Luke chapter 4 but I'm going to go down about 8 chapters uh, the book of Luke chapter 12 verse 48 that one verse is what I want to talk to you about today Dr. Haynes I just want to share with the people of God and that one verse simply says this it says Luke 12 and 48 you can write it down you can read along with me you turn with me to Luke 12 and 48 it says these words First lady, but he that knew not and did commit things worthy of stripes shall be beaten with few stripes. Mm -hmm. For unto whomsoever much is given, of him shall be much required. And to whom men have committed much of him will they ask the more. Yeah. Would you say amen for the word? Amen. As we get into our text this morning, we find that as we read the preceding verse, mm -hmm. that it is a crime, I did say it, All right. to be ignorant uh -oh. of God's will. Mm -hmm. Now you better understand what I'm saying. I don't want nobody to go home and say he called us ignorant. It is a crime to be ignorant of God's will. Well, I need to confirm that. To everyone, I did say everyone, God has given less or more of the means of instructions. God, for instance, in his um, creation status, God in his creation status. Mm -hmm. Huh? In other words, uh, to everyone, I did say everyone, God has given less or more of the means of instructions. Mm -hmm. God knows our mental status. Mm -hmm. God knows our mindset. God knows our level of the mothers of understanding. Yes, he does. So with that said, God gives each of us less or more of his instructions. I want to say that again. God gives each of us less or more of his instructions. God, in his creation status, he told Adam and Eve, this is what he said. He said, I'm giving you the garden. And what I want you to do is go in it. It is yours. Everything in it is yours. You, you, I mean, you, you can name the animals, the fish of the sea, all of the trees. It's yours. But there is but one tree that he told them you simply cannot touch. That's what he said. Come on, preacher. That is the tree of life. But how many know that temptation will set in on some folk? Some folk, the more they get, uh -oh. All right. the more they want. All right, you. All right. now, now, I want to understand, they haven't done anything with what they already have. Mm -hmm. huh? Y'all ain't going to say nothing now. I don't care. A person can get a Cadillac, and they want a Mercedes. Mm -hmm. 
They have not learned how to try, how to operate the Cadillac yet. But they see uh, uh, Dr. Hayes with a Mercedes, so they say, I won't be a Mercedes. And, 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 and not realize they can't drive but one. Some folk got four or five cars sitting in the driveway. They're the only person living in the house. Huh? They have not learned how to handle what God has given them. Come on, come on. Some pastors want a thousand members, but they haven't been able to conquer ten yet. Y'all right. ain't gonna say nothing now. Come on, Pastor. Huh? God in his creation status, he told Adam and Eve, you cannot touch this tree. Everything else is yours. But there's one tree you cannot touch. How many, how many times has God given us things that are equal to more than enough? We just have to have things that are intended for our use. First, for instance, man has a beautiful wife and a wonderful family. Uh, the woman has a wonderful husband and a wonderful family, but their greed of not being satisfied causes them to look elsewhere in their quest of not knowing how to deal with what God has given them. They simply lose it all because you don't apply the much required part. Huh? To much given, much be required. Huh? God's given you a wife. Now you got to take care of her. The Bible said if a man don't work, he don't eat. Oh, y'all ain't, ain't going to say nothing. Ain't no sense of you coming in the house. Come my baby, where the dinner at? You didn't buy nothing. Oh, my goodness. You won't go out and get a job. job. You still looking at Job. That's why you don't have a job. My God. Mm, mm, mm. Don't want to work for nothing, but you want God to give you this. And that's, what we, that's how we do God. We ask God, give me this. God, I want more. I want more and more and more. God, I want more. I want more. God, I want a bigger house. You ain't getting up with the small house. God, I want a better car. You didn't take care of the other car. Come on, Pastor. All right, preacher. Mm. Come on now. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. Adam and Eve had it all. All right. There was but one tree. One tree. They needed to avoid. One tree. And you know what? Here's the thing, Dr. Hay. For some reason, folk love to play the blame game. Yeah, yeah, Lord, I, I would go to church, but God, I can't stand that pastor over there. I, I would go to church, but God, I just don't like the women that go to that church. I don't want my husband around those women. You don't want him around the women at church, but he around the women on his job. Y'all ain't gonna say nothing now. All right, all right. Uh, be around them every day. They cooking them cakes and cupcake. Y'all ain't gonna talk to me now. Bringing them pork chop sandwiches. Bringing them chicken sandwich. Y'all ain't gonna talk to me now. Huh? Talk about hey Larry, how you doing today, Larry? Oh, bless the name of the Lord. But you don't want him around the women in the house of the Lord. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. So, so, so we can lay the blame game. That's what Adam did. Yeah, Adam laid the blame game. He laid it on Eve. Yes, he huh? did. Yes, he did. He, he said, God, he said, God that, 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 that the woman that you gave me, God, uh -huh. I wouldn't have touched that tree, but God, that woman that you uh -huh. gave me. Yeah. But guess what? Adam had a part in it also. Uh -huh. Because Adam had been instructed by God. Come on, I'm going to preach a few more minutes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. God said to Adam, the day you touch the tree of life, mm -hmm. ye shall surely die. He didn't tell Eve that, but he told Adam. See, we, we're so quick in men to want to be in charge. Y'all ain't going to say that now. Oh, Lord, oh, Lord, oh, Lord. We want to be in charge, but we'll sit up at home. Some of us, some men will sit up at home and send the wife out to work. Y'all ain't going to talk to me now. Huh? You take her to work 
of you. Go home and get back in the bed and lay down, not bringing in a dime in the house. But you come out, I'm the man. I don't know you're gonna talk to me now. But I got news, I wanna say like the young folks say. It costs to be the boss. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. God said to Adam the day you touch this tree, ye shall surely die. Mm -hmm. Stop playing the blame game. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. There is a level of instruction that we all must abide by. Lord have mercy. I want you to go back in your imagination. Mm, look down in your memory bank. And I want you to imagine having it all. And God says all of it is yours. But this one house you cannot touch. There are many that sit here in the sanctuary. And on social media. God given us more than we deserve. Yeah, yeah. But what are we doing with what he has given us? Yeah. Lord have mercy. We're sitting in our homes. Some of us are on our knees. And we ask God for more. And we simply give God less. Let's pray. Let's commune with God. Let's tithe and offer. Let's fasting. Let's come into the altar. Let's study God's word. Less of us. Less of love. Less of praise. Less of worship. Less, 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 less. We ask God for more. But we give him less. Lord, have mercy. We won't come to church like we used to. Lord, have mercy. Now we got an excuse. It's the pandemic fault. It's social media. I told y'all a few messages ago. Some of us have been social distancing. Way before the pandemic, we didn't want to have nothing to do with nobody. We didn't want to sit next to one nobody. We didn't want to speak to our neighbor. We didn't want to come together because of this and that. But I got to tell you, as we follow Jesus, we must always be ready for whatever circumstances that we have to meet. Lord, have mercy. We must be likened to household servants waiting for their master to return home after a feast with their master. When the master arrives, he gets home ready. Whether he gets home later than expected. Somebody say the master will be pleased if the servants are ready and waiting on the master. Though they have done their duty, the master may give them an unexpected reward. Somebody say yes. We must be ready at all times. Somebody say all times. God. Somebody say God expects more from us. Lord, have mercy that are in his will. We must secure our houses against burglary. Since we really don't know when the feet will break in. Lord, have mercy. The Bible says, and one till and till, the feet coming not, but for the steal and to kill and to destroy. Lord, have mercy. But Jesus said, that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. Somebody say more abundantly. And verse 11, 
Bible says. I'm bringing it down. I'm bringing it down. The Bible says. How can you hear? Without preaching. How can they preach? They be sent Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Got to have a preacher. Got to have a preacher. Hallelujah. And, and, and let me tell you this. Dr. Hayes, I got to tell him this. I'm not for sale. I'm not for sale. You cannot buy me with your dogs. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because guess what? Even though many times I ask for a donation of seed on Facebook, go to that cash app, go to give it And there's a lot that don't give. But guess what? I'm reminded of God's word. Yes. That God will take care of us. He said, Lo, I'm with you. Even until the end of the world. God's not going to let nothing happen to you. He's not going to let nothing happen to us. Yeah, 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 yeah. Some of us, some of us, during this pandemic, instead of getting better, we've gotten worse. Yeah, yeah. We've gotten worse. We listen to four or five services on Sunday, but none of them get in our heart. Y'all ain't going to say nothing now. Because see, when the word of God really affects you, you'll make a change. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. And, and only, it's a shame that, 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 that folks see you and you're still the same. Uh -huh. You're still cussing folk out. My God. In an ocean, you're still using folk. You're still putting folk down. You're still talking about folk. Huh? You're still talking about the church. This ain't right. The choir ain't right. You get right. You get right. This is a personal thing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I just hear the Lord, the words of the Lord, the words of his son. It says, my story is in And I am no to Oh, my story 